Okay, so um, this is the SVFI community version. This is the free version. Um, use the GMFSS PG104 option. If you cannot use GMFSS, it's just too slow, like you have an old ass GPU. Second best option would be to go to NCNN Rife and use Rife 2.3. Yep. And that's a little bit better than 4.6 and it will it will work on any GPU this option here so that's the second best option that'll work on any GPU not just NVIDIA GPUs and not just recent very powerful ones right so let's see is there anything for TensorRT in this no there's not there's not even okay so yeah just use this model you select your input video, select your interpolation radio, ratio or the output FPS, and then you can even queue multiples, I think. Make sure that you check safe FPS. You need safe FPS to be checked. And then if you have enough VRAM, I would recommend that you do 2x optical flow scale, which will actually be 1x optical flow scale. If you don't have enough VRAM to do that, then you can go to the output resolution preset and then select 720p or 480p or custom or percentage, and that is going to downscale it. And then I recommend that your encoding quality is at least 16 CRF on H.264 or H.265 slow and uh, with the CPU encoder, because that's faster. Um, that's about it. Yeah, you just do that and then check it after, like, just pause the interpolation over here. Press the pause button after the first chunk finishes, first thousand frames, and then check that that first chunk, go into the, you know, directory, project directory, check that the first chunk is not stuttery because you don't want to be doing the entire file if that first chunk is stuttery. That means you need to fix some shit. Right? Maybe you need to wait for your two or three chunks because maybe the first chunk of the video doesn't have any panning motion in it. But uh, biggest problem with this program is that it doesn't handle variable frame rate video at all. So if you have a VFI video, you're going to need to re-encode it to a constant frame rate or it's not going to work in SVFI. Um, and some videos are just you know actual VFR, so that's not good. Hopefully that can be fixed in the future. Otherwise, though, I really recommend that you pick this program up if you're interested in interpolation. Uh, the $6 asking price is far, far worth it. It's amazing. The developers are amazing. They respond to feedback. Uh, the GMFSS creator is actually on the SVFI team. Um, so, yeah, really support the developers. This is an awesome project. And um, if you can and you want those extra features, buy the... Pro version, maybe you can even get into the alpha, and you can just be on the bleeding edge and uh, of the interpolation scene, just checking out whatever is the best. You know, I really recommend you do that if you have like a 4090, totally worth it, because um, you can just mess around with everything. Uh, yeah, I don't recommend for the scene detection, oh, actually, interpolation, yeah, I don't recommend you put on dedupe yet. They haven't really got a dedupe mode that I'd recommend anyone use yet. Um, so I just keep it on true motion um, and it'll automatically decrease this if it doesn't need it. Um, and then the scene detection, I recommend you just turn it off so that if you want to do transition choosing later, you can do it and there won't be any over detection. Um, yeah, over detection and under detection is a huge issue in the automatic scene detection. So I just recommend to keep it off uh, in when you're processing big files like this, right? If you're doing real time, then you can use it because you know you're you're only going to be viewing that video in real time at that exact time, right? But if you're processing videos, you don't want any over detection, and uh, I actually set it up so there's basically none with 0.36 in the Rife one, but I, I have not experimented enough to know where that value is for this. Um, yeah. Okay. Anyway, th I think that's about it. If you guys have questions, just shoot them in the comments and I will try to answer them. Okay.